I just have to say that I shot everything, and I mean everything with the iPhone 15 Pro and the Pro Max. This is absolutely fantastic as a content creator because you can capture so much around you and still use that device for everything. Now, I love the fact that I didn't have to pack any of my gear like my Sony camera, so which means I just took, of course, carry-on luggage, even though my luggage got stuck through the conveyor belt here at TSA. Well, who knows why? No reason given. But being able to just use the phone in my hand to capture the zoom lenses are great for, of course, the zoom action. Uh, and using it just concurrently is, is nice. So I had the 15 Pro Max, Daniel had the 15 Pro, and we used it in conjunction to just kind of capture everything in this video here to get the best content possible. And you guys know, we are going to go check out an awesome vehicle from Mercedes and some really new tech. Now, if you join us for the first time, this is Thunder E from Board at Work. Go ahead, smash that subscribe button, notification icon, so you can watch more videos like this. So we're about to board the plane and get in there to see uh, Mercedes. And luckily we were flying business class, though I have never flown in seats like this from United. Honestly, guys, just, just change, change it. You know, it's a bit weird kind of jumping over people just so you can use the bathroom. That being said though, um, I love airports. I love planes. I am an av geek, even though I don't really mention it. Um, and I enjoy that just flying experience overall. Okay, on a side note, what is up with LAX? Why is it such a messy airport? I mean, it's hard to go from terminal to terminal. It's hard to find anything and there's a lot of traffic. So anyone who lives in LA, please tell me why is LAX so bad? Anyway, back to Mercedes. Mercedes invited us over here to check out their drive pilot system. This is a level three uh, autonomous self-driving system. It is actually considered conditional autonomous self-driving, which is quite interesting uh, to see. And it's something that you will see in action and you'll go, wow, wow this is pretty cool. Nobody has a level three self-driving. Does it give you some background what level three uh, entails? It's conditional, meaning that it gets into certain conditions. And for Mercedes, this has to do when you are driving uh, under 40 miles per hour during traffic. Yes, just bear that in mind. Now, keep that aside for a second. I gotta talk about hotel room. This is a proper hotel. I've stayed there in Austin. Here's one in Santa Monica. I love the fact that this room had so much space. I had an area to take off my shoes. There's like closet area. It, it's big. It's, it's a big just entryway area to hotel room. So that was pretty dope. Massive mirror there on the right. And then you've got, of course, massive shower, bathroom all together, really nice and slick. I love the styling of what Prop Hotel does. Just the nice faux wood or faux wood around, which is pretty nice. Badge in hand, and this is the vehicle we'll be driving. It is the EQS 450 Plus. Now, Drive Pilot is available in the S Class as well as the EQS as well. And you see those turquoise lights around the car. That indicates to drivers around you that you're in self driving mode. You're in a conditional self driving mode, which is great. I love the fact that it went with a specific color that's different from the red brake lights to indicate to drivers that yes, you are the car's driving itself. Uh, now, I am about to get into the vehicle and we're about to take this show on the road. Now, one thing though is I love the EQS interior. It's one of the best. I love the massive screens across this and they put the screen into good use. Now, before you use Drive Pilot, you must watch the, um, the video, giving you an explanation of what it does, how it functions and how you actually get to use Drive Pilot. Now, speaking of that, what are the general rules of Drive Pilot itself? Well, it's got an operation design domain, an operational design domain or ODD. Uh, I like to call it JJK's domain expansion. And there are certain rules that must be met, like traffic jams up to 40 miles per hour, a vehicle in front of you, good road conditions, reasonable weather and lighting conditions, HD map available as well. Now, once all of those are done, you hit the button on your steering wheel, it turns white, and then you go ahead and hit the OK button on the left-hand side, it turns turquoise, and you are in self-driving mode. Now you can go hands off, eyes off, and you are good to go. It's a fun experience. It's a bit weird, but you can see this traffic. It's you know it's not it's not slow traffic, but it's about maybe 35 to 40 miles per hour. The car is keeping up. It's watching cars that change your lane in there, and allows me to do other things. Uh, the system is built so I can watch a video. I can go in and watch a YouTube video like the iPhone 15 Pro Max gaming video 
go watch that. Uh, and you can see how free it is to just not to do anything. Now, the one thing is that you cannot close your eyes because the set, there's a sensor in front. Once you do, it, it, it goes off drive pilot mode and basically tries to get you to take control over it. Uh, now, the way Mercedes has this is that uh, the drive pilot system itself is really set for those conditions that I mentioned. But it allows me to go ahead and play video games in the car and win. But that's just really impressive seeing that this can actually do that. A couple of things to note, Mercedes basically says they take full responsibility for anything that happens while the car is in drive pilot mode. So while it's self-driving, the onus of responsibility passes from you to the vehicle, which is Mercedes. So I really like the fact that they've been very confident about this. Plus, the system has been already been available in Germany for about a year with zero incidents and they are happy to see it come to the US. It's gonna be available currently in California and in Nevada. Those are the two states uh, that Drive Power will be available in. The two vehicles I mentioned, the EQS range as well as the S-Class line. Uh, plus its pricing is 2,500 for the year in terms of what you are paying for a Drive Pilot and it will be constantly updated for traffic regulations, uh, traffic rules, as, also, as well as software updates that you would expect. I find it really impressive, and I like this step that Mercedes is taking into self-driving because it allows you to put it in conditions that make a lot of sense. If you're gonna be spending like 30 or 40 minutes in traffic every single day going to work, this is awesome. It means that you can go ahead and do other things in the car. Now you can't sleep because the system will realize that and the seatbelt will jerk and basically try to wake you up, forcing you to take control of the vehicle again. One thing I do like about it is that if any of those systems are not met and say for instance, you are having uh, a seizure, a heart attack or some kind of ailment in the car, the car will recognize that you, there's something wrong with you, slow down and come to a complete stop, turn on the hazard lights and then call uh, for emergency assistance. So again, that's also built into some of the safety features that DrivePilot has. So let me know what you guys think about Mercedes level three autonomous self-driving uh, with DrivePilot. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts down below. And did you enjoy this video that was shot entirely with the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max? Let me know.